A warning now from the World Health Organization that the Zika virus is, quote, spreading explosively. And this year alone, three to four million in North and South America could be infected with the virus linked to birth defects. The CDC says the number of people returning to the U.S. with Zika is growing. NBC's Tom Costello has more. Dr. Whitney Prince is one of the few Americans who has experienced the Zika virus as a patient. It was on her honeymoon in Bora Bora that she contracted Zika through a mosquito bite. Once home, she developed a skin rash, conjunctivitis, and a headache. Feeling very worn out, tired, kind of dragging, and I actually ended up staying out of work for about a day and a half, mainly because of the joint pains, just because it was painful to walk at that point. Dr. Prince recovered, and she was not pregnant, no unborn child at risk of developing microcephaly. But in Recife, Brazil today, NBC News was with 20-year-old Tuana Parara as she visited her doctor. Her two-month-old, Thaisa, is one of thousands of babies who've been born with microcephaly in the last year. While Zika carrying mosquitoes have not yet arrived in the U.S., the CDC today reported 31 Zika cases have turned up in 11 states and D.C. All of them involve travelers who've contracted Zika while abroad. In addition, 19 cases in Puerto Rico and one in the Virgin Islands. We don't know how many involve pregnant women. While experts expect some Zika mosquitoes will arrive in southern Gulf states, they don't expect a massive outbreak. There is always the slight possibility that we might see a major outbreak. We don't think that's going to occur, but we're going to be prepared for it. The reasons for the optimism, there's far less trash and stagnant water in U.S. urban areas. Cities and towns spray for mosquitoes here, cold weather acts as a barrier, and Americans use air conditioning and window screens to keep mosquitoes out. Meanwhile, Gina Park is 18 weeks pregnant. She and her husband have now canceled an upcoming trip to Mexico. We just thought it wasn't worth the risk um, to go. We just probably couldn't live with ourselves if something ever did happen. Meanwhile, the National Institutes of Health today said it hopes to start clinical drug trials this year, but a Zika vaccine could be years away. Tom Costello, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.